This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of Invincible Season 3, Episode 5. This is titled This Must Come as a Shack. And if you haven't watched this episode yet, there will be a lot of spoilers because this is an insane episode. If you have not watched it yet, do not go and watch this because a lot of crazy things happen in it. Stuff from the earlier part of the season is revealed and it was honestly a really incredible episode. I hate the long break they took in between, but it was totally worth it to see this incredible episode. And if they need some extra time to finish it, I totally understand because this episode specifically, again, last chance for spoilers, was a complete bloodbath. We had two major characters being killed off. At least, presumably being killed off it. Is technically, you know, never said that they're dead, but yeah, they're essentially dead. We see the deaths of Duplicate and I can't remember the other character's name, but it's the Ant Man kind of Ant Man the Atom character, which is honestly, you know, pretty interesting. And I haven't read the comics yet. I did get them for Christmas, but I just have way too much stuff that I'm reading right now. I'm probably not going to get to them until this summer at the earliest, but still, I am looking forward to reading them. And this first episode of the back half of the season, as I said, was truly incredible, and I really couldn't believe how dark it got. It was really cool to see this. The invasion from... I was like the Martians, but the species that was on their world. But it was... Just really cool to see. It was... Awesome to see these heroes being beaten down and... For them to just continue on this dark tone where... Instead of, like... Going where well, the pushers would go, they instead went on the complete opposite. Instead of having a later episode to kind of make them all feel better, they just doubled down on it being dark. And after Mark already took in an extreme beating, he took an even worse one, and it was way worse than what happened to him when he lost his father because through that he only had him captured and although is treasure to him it was not as bad as beating where he could lose almost everyone and everything he loves in an immediate sense. This one has much more immediate effects where he might lose all of his friends already. I also think it is interesting how he's told no one about how he's being forced to work for the Viltrumites under blackmail. That they will go and do way worse things. I'm interested to see where this is revealed, but I really enjoyed this episode, as I said. It had great character development. It showed Rex being a good person for like the first time ever, and... It was, you know, a nice scene with him and Eve. It also references the events of the episode from sort of like, you know, middle between the two seasons. It was like there's a special presentation or whatever. I don't remember the exact term, but it was the Adam Eve episode. And that was a it was a nice callback to that episode. And obviously to the fact that it just placed in a weird spot. It is actually advertised after this since it is technically considered to be season three or something by how they are putting it on Amazon. And honestly, it was really 
nice for that reference to be there. Some other cool stuff was just how basically everyone knew that they had a Martian with them, and that was a really funny moment where he's like, wait, you all knew? Going to the rest of the episode, I like how Mark was forced to take his brother back, knowing that it's not going to be good for him to grow up in a society where he ages far more slower than anyone else. I think that it is going to be pretty interesting to see how they deal with the fact that his mom has to raise a baby alien and also a child that is from her now ex-husband and the fact that they were still married when he did this so he did cheat on her in a way and although you could say it's kind of over once he went on his mass murder spree in a sense they were still married and even though she is devastated by what he did it definitely still hurts to see this and yeah honestly that was a really nice part and for the rest of the episode it was really great the one thing i do want to criticize this is something that has just been annoying me a lot is how prime now puts ads into the stuff and it generally feels like they just have like an ai just pick out where to put the ads because it sometimes just completely ruins flows of episodes. It wasn't as bad here, but I was rewatching The Boys recently alongside that Gen V, and I felt like sometimes they just had an ad pop up randomly in the middle of a scene, and they don't really determine exactly where the best point is. They're just trying to make money, and it's just really annoying. I was just really annoyed when I saw that, and I was trying to figure out if there was a problem with it at first. And then I was able to check and see, yeah, they are just doing this. It is annoying, but it is bearable, so... Honestly, I want to know what you think, because this has just been a massive pain in the butt to deal with for that specifically, but besides that, this was an incredible episode, a great start to this back half of the season. I really can't wait to see what happens next. And I really love that they didn't resolve the storyline in this. This plotline felt like it was way too big to be resolved in one episode. And it looks like it will be resolved over two. I really can't wait to see what happens. Also, I love the reveal of Al and the alien at the end that, thankfully, he is not dead. He was a really fun character. And that the guy we thought was actually a traitor isn't. And that he's actually one of the few good Viltrumites out there. And that he wants to ally with Invincible. It seems likely that how the tide will turn in the next episode will be Alan will show up and save them. I really can't wait to see what happens next. And I want to know what you think. I also want to apologize that this is coming out so late. I thought at first this was going to release at night so I didn't check in the morning. When I was just basically on my way to work, I checked my YouTube feed and I saw under my subscriptions, thankfully, that there was stuff about the new episode. I went and checked Prime and I knew that there was no way I could watch this episode since I only had like 15 minutes until I started work and I wanted to watch it all in one sitting. So I waited till I got home and I watched that and then... I had a bunch of other stuff I had to do after that, so I couldn't record a review. And finally got it out now, but... Yeah, I've just really been pretty busy for the last few days. So I do want to apologize to the fact I'm not going to be able to get as much out. Besides the little mistake with the question of Princess Leia, I had that recorded last night. It was like 97% uploaded. And I closed my computer, so... When I checked to make sure it went live, I was like... Oops, so sorry about that one, but besides that, I really enjoyed this. I want to know what you think, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.